Hi everyone, and it's Al up in the loft. I'm going to show you how to renew the roof tank ball valve. If your overflow is going outside, then um, you can either do one or two things. You can repair the ball cock, you can try bending the arm down, but it won't last, it'll catch up. Um, best thing is to renew it, um, or if you've got one that's already repaired, swap it over. Or if you'd like to take it out and repair it yourself, you can. A washer and a seat in these peanuts, money wise, uh, and you can easily do it. I've got a video on repairing a part two ball valve. Uh, on YouTube, you can go there and see how you do it yourself, uh, repair it, and then put it back in. But um, this is like a straight swap, so it's how to renew the roof tank cold water storage tank ball cock. Now, here's mine, and as you can see, it's running like a good one. Um, it gets right up to the top and it starts overflowing mainly overnight. You'll find a lot of the valves actually catch up and go overnight because that's when you're not using the water and uh, it gets a chance to get the overflow and go over all the time you're using it in the day. Um, and you're just about keeping the level down. But this is how to change the valve now, it's easy and simple, and I'll show you how now. Okay, there's our valve we're going to take out. And another reason that I want to do this ball cock is because this is an old part one model. Um, they're very noisy, they, they, they're just a horrible ball valve, although well, they've been in existence a long time. I'm going to replace it with this one. This is the new part two with a spout. Uh, this one is second hand, but I've repaired it, put a new washer in it. As I say, there was a video on doing one of these. I'll do one on repairing the part one as well. That will be on YouTube shortly. Um, but for now, I'm going to change this ball cock now. It's very easy. You don't have to take it out of the tank unless it's really, really tight and this nut doesn't undo. But basically, you just need two spanners. I mean, I prefer footprints and a little open adjustable. Okay, and what you do, put your spanner, footprints on the bottom, and put your spanner, which I've adjusted to this nut here, okay, and twist. Now, I've, I've had slackened it off, I admit that, because um, I didn't want it to knock the camera in the tank which is balancing by a thread <laughs> we'll have no more camera okay under the nut and it'll all pull away okay you can see that she's all pulled out leaving you that there now the washer's inside there which is good because we don't want that sometimes it sticks on the end of the face make sure the face is nice and clean okay and unscrew your ball okay we'll get that off I'll get it off on my knee because it's a bit tight okay just once it's cracked it's cracked Okay, and we've got the get them off of there. Okay, and get your new one and thread it on there. Okay, you can see that. Hopefully you can see it okay. Put the old ball on. You don't need to get a new ball unless you've got something seriously wrong with it. Uh, if it's an old copper one, for instance. Um, if it's an old copper one, it goes in the scrap bin. <laughs> More, more than that than it is playing a plastic one. So that's it, take, take your ball goal. This one's been adjusted up quite high. Again, with your new ball valve, if you split it like you've just done there, okay, split the towel, then you've got this. Now, make sure the washer's in there, okay. Um, that's all you've got to make sure and the spout's down. You can put a spout on afterwards if you like, if you're a bit worried about it, maybe snapping it off. <coughs> But that's it, basically. You put him there and do him up with your fingers first. Okay, do him up. Can be tricky to get a start on it, but uh, it always goes in the end. And so this spout can be put on afterwards. It's just a bit tight to the rim sometimes if you do it before. But we can actually take the spout out if you'd rather. Okay, might be easier for you. Okay, so we'll take the spout out. Okay. And do him up. It's a bit easier with a spout gone. It starts a lot easier. Okay, and once we've got to there, once you can't do it with your fingers anymore, just get it in position, aim it up. Okay, and then again, with your grips, we've got a spout missing, it is a bit easier. You can put it across where the spout was and make sure you don't crunch the thread, of course, or bust it in any way, just hold it nice and gentle. You can hold it from the bottom as well, but I usually hold it this way around. You take the spout out, but you can hold it that way from the bottom if you're worried, okay? But as long as you grip it either side and not on that spout rim, it'll be okay to do it up. Okay, just keep going until your fillet pinch up. Your fillet grab it. Grabbed it now, make sure it's nice and level now, the ball cock. 
make sure she's level, get it dead right, okay, and do it that, that's it, that's it, and then we put our spout back in, readle him in, be careful not to cross thread him, which is very easy to do, I can tell you that. Right, next part is, um, once you've tightened that up, um, is just to tighten the ball here. Um, you can see it's on the arm there, so it's got to be tightened up. Uh, to get the level right, okay, just make sure she's down to the level where you want it, which is fairly low down on these arms, and then just tighten her up. Um, and you'll also see, once you've got that on, you can see whether your valve is dead straight. Mine's not quite dead straight, I can see it. Tighten this well up now, because you don't want the ball moving, because if it does, you'll get another overflow, I can guarantee you. <laughs> and when it's sliding up it would pop through um, and there we are that, that is around about the job actually now it's now it's gone in it's quite I can see it is quite level and done um, and then we just turn the water on and in my instance I've got this little valve here um, I've got a video if you want to put one of these valves on uh, it's another one of my on there for a ball of fix um, just turn it on and away you go That's about it then. Thanks very much for watching. Derek and 33, all my videos. Thank you.